Hello and welcome to this Illustrator CS5 tutorial in which we're going to have a look at some of the issues related to using Illustrator for designing websites. In particular we're going to look at pixel dimension and resolution. We're going to talk about screen versus paper and we're going to have a look at color management um, preferences and setting up the workspace in Illustrator for the ideal situation for designing websites. Okay, so to start off, <clears throat> we can just talk about pixel dimensions. And most web designers tend to design websites at a pixel resolution of 1024 by 768. That's a fairly standard size. But these days, many monitors have much higher resolutions than this, which causes a problem because if a website is built for that size and the user has a larger monitor, then the website is going to appear much smaller than it does on the designer screen. So pixel dimension is quite important and this is, pixel dimension refers to how many pixels wide and how many pixels high your screen, your design is. <clears throat> and we can see in this file that I have open here three typical screen resolution sizes. And what we're going to look at here is to create a rectangle. So I'm going to use the um, rectangle tool in Illustrator to create a rectangle at a typical standard banner ad size which is 468 pixels by 60 pixels. And as we can see here I've just dragged it out onto the 1024 by 768 screen and it, it appears um, at a pretty standard typical size in relation to the screen. But if you compare it to the next size up or even the larger size, uh, the the banner ad appears relatively tiny against such a large monitor background. Okay, so if if we just go over to the artboard panel on the right hand side, we're going to switch to the panel called monitor, and we can see that it's smaller but it has more information. So as web designers, we have to assume that most people have 1024 by 768 screens at the moment although this is changing all the time so most websites are roughly 900 pixels wide but we have to make the make this decision every time we design a website how wide are we going to make it and obviously this is a moving target because monitors are generally getting larger all the time 